second installment on Why So Many Guitars Acoustic Edition. This was the second guitar I got. Um, seven years after I got the last one, the Gibson Dove, in the previous video, uh, I was at a, I, I got a gig doing uh, clinics in 1997. I got a gig and it was traveling around the country. It was going to pay pretty good, so I, I felt flush and decided to go and do some guitar shopping. So I went to this place, doesn't exist anymore, on, um, I think it was on Coenga, uh, uh, Ventura, it was on Coenga in, in Studio City, it was called uh, Instrumental, Instrumental Music, I think, and he had a lot of uh, boutique-y kind of acoustic guitars. Um, he had Gibsons and Martins, but he also had like uh, uh, Collins and, and different, different guitar companies that I'd never even heard of before. And I'd been playing that Dove quite a bit, and, and uh, so I was familiar with the sound of a Gibson. So when I got there to this store, I was playing a bunch of guitars, and this one I grabbed off the wall, and I picked it up, and immediately I just went, wow, that thing is... I've got a drop D right now, I'm drop D to the... It had a real brassy quality to it that, that my um, Dove didn't have at all. And um, it's cedar top and the back and sides, I, I'm going to have to look it up. I'll put it in the, uh, in the notes down below. Uh, this is a, a Loudon, you can see the headstock right here, a Loudon F22, uh, made in Ireland by George Loudon. And this is probably a mid-90s. It was also used when I bought it, like the Gibson Dove. It's got the loud and tuners on it, and um, the thing, uh, one thing about it is, the, this headstock version is very difficult to get a tuner on there. It's kind of curved like this, so you put a tuner on there, and a lot of times I'll be playing, and if I move too much, it'll go flying across the room. Uh, it'll launch itself, but it, it, it plays great, and it, it has. I've got right now. I've got Elixir uh, lights on here. Most of my acoustics have Elixir lights on them. Um, it, it doesn't have a pick guard. You can see where it's kind of getting worn out. He, it actually came with this this like stick-on pick guard, but you know that, that doesn't really bother me that much. Um, it's a little bit of character. It's got a very interesting bridge, the split saddle. Very difficult to get a pickup on this. Um, the the pickup I'm using is Highlander on this guitar. It's a little dusty because it's been sitting in my studio because I've been using it. I was using it on some TV stuff because of the Open D. Actually, I think I was doing some Dad Gad stuff, and it just sounded really cool for for that kind of underscore kind of sound. Um, this is a split saddle, so the top two strings are on their own saddle, and um, the bottom four strings are on their own. It's on their own saddle. And uh, it, I, I'm assuming it, it allows for it to be uh, better in, intonated, uh, but, but it's a problem for putting an under the saddle kind of uh, pickup in there. So Highlander makes one, and of all my pickups and all of my acoustics, the Highlander is the best sounding one. It just sounds really, really good. And then they just, we just put the, the jack right there. Um, preamp would be outside of the guitar. I don't have any volume control or anything in here. Uh, but this, yeah, this is a real, really cool instrument, especially like I said for for finger style. And I would say this one's brighter than my Dove. Um, but it's not, it's brighter in a weird way. Like I said, I, I always just call it brassy. It just has a really kind of brassy sound and a, with a pick especially really comes through. And I, I will use lots of different kinds of picks. Um, this is a gravity pick, which I really like because it's got a kind of a beveled uh, rough edge that creates extra, extra kind of sound quality. Um, I could use a Wigan like mandolin pick on it. It would have a rounder sound with that. I find that it sounds best finger picked. Uh, so anyway, that's guitar number two, second guitar I ever bought, acoustic guitar I ever bought, and um, it's a Loudon F22. God bless you guys. I'll talk to you next time.